Welcome to this video. In this video we will go over some inequality basics including how to read the inequality symbols and what they mean and then how to graph inequalities on a number line. And uh, in the next video, uh, we'll make this a two-part series, in the next video we'll actually start looking at solving some basic linear inequalities. So the first thing that we need to look at is this information right here and that is how do we read what which inequality symbol is greater than which is less than which is greater than or equal to and which one is less than or equal to and many students get this confused so it's important that we understand all of this uh, right here first before we move forward and greater than is is this symbol right here a lot of ways to remember it um, the bigger side so let's say we had uh, the statement x is greater than y for example this symbol greater than means that x is bigger than y x is greater than y that's if we read it from left to right and you can remember this in a lot of ways the greater than side has two points and the little side the less than side only has one point so you can remember that the bigger side is read greater than and the little side is read less than. You can remember that the greater than side has two points on it. Um, and when I say that, I mean there's a point right there and a point right there. Uh, the less than side only has one point. So it, of course, is less than the side with two points. Um, the other way to remember it is that uh, you may have learned this in elementary school, the, the alligator this, if you view this like an alligator's mouth, the alligator eats the bigger one. However you remember it, it's just important that you keep these symbols straight. And remember that we can read this from left to right, so x is greater than y. And we can also read it from right to left, so that would be y is less than x. Those statements are equivalent because x is greater than y, therefore y is less than x. So the same thing could be true. This is an equivalent statement to say this. Y is less than X. Okay, from left to right, this is read Y is less than X. From right to left, it's X is greater than Y. Same as this statement, except we just have the, the bigger variable on the left side instead of the right side. So in this case, this one again is X is greater than Y. This is X is greater than Y read right to left. This is X is greater than Y read left to right. So it's it's pretty straightforward, but you have to remember which one which symbol is which because if you don't get this straight now, it's going to mess you up when you get uh, into um, more advanced problems with inequality. So it's very important that you remember all of this and get that part straight right from the beginning. Okay, let's look at how to uh, let's go through the statements again and, and review those one more time. Uh, we've got all of them here. The part that we didn't talk about is the greater than or equal to. So with the line, the bar underneath, that means it's greater than or equal to, not just greater than. The equal to is added with this bar underneath the statement. So we have greater than or equal to, and we have less than or equal to. So if we put our X and Y here <coughs> again... From left to right, x is greater than or equal to y. Right to left, this statement would be y is less than or equal to x. means exactly the same thing. y is less than or equal to x here, read left to right. From right to left, this statement is x is greater than or equal to y. All right? So uh, the other important part to remember, and this, this is going to be the case from now on, even when we're talking about domain and range statements later, an open circle, so let's let's put our other statements back here that we had before. So x is greater than y, and then down here we had y is less than x. Okay, these two statements right here are graphed with a closed circle. Graphed with a closed circle. So when you have the equal to bar underneath the inequality symbol, these are graphed with a, on a graph, an closed circle. So that means filled in. These are closed circles. Okay? 
these over here, when there's no equal to bar underneath, these are open circles on a graph. So whether you're talking about domain and range or you're talking about graphing an inequality on a number line, an open circle goes with these two symbols and a closed circle goes with these two symbols. Okay, easy enough. So let's look at uh, a couple of examples here. Alright, an example here, we've got x is less than negative 6. How would we graph that on a basic number line? So let's look at how we would do that. So let's put a number line in here. It's not very straight, but that'll work. Uh, we'd have to put 0 on here, and then negative 6 would be down here somewhere, negative 6. If we wanted to label this, x is less than negative 6 on a number line, first we would have to look at the symbol. We've got less than, less than, that's the correct symbol, and we graph that with an open circle. So we would need to start right here at negative 6 with an open circle. Now less than, the way you can remember this, look, the inequality symbol points to the left, so we're going to draw this to the left, just like that. So this means that x is less than negative 6. That's what this graph right here means. All right, I'll pause it and let's look at another example. All right, in this example, let's say you were asked to graph this statement. x is greater than or equal to 5 on a number line. So the first thing we would do is sketch our number line here. Okay, we'd have 0, put it, say, right here. And then the next number we would need it would be 5. We'll put that right here. So let's look at our symbol. We have a greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to symbol. We need to graph that with a closed circle. So we need to fill this in. So we're going to go right underneath 5. We're going to fill it in and draw it to the right, just like this. So this means all x is greater than or equal to 5. So this means everything from 5, including 5, because the, the circle is filled in, to the right. So everything greater than or equal to 5. So 6 is included, 7 is included, 5.01 is included. Everything to the right of 5 on the number line would be included in this statement. Alright, let's look at another example. Alright, here we have another example. So let's say you're given this number line uh, graph and you were asked to write the inequality statement that fits this graph. You see here we have 7. This should be 0 right here. Let's put that in. So you have 7 and you have an open circle and it's pointing left. So this is saying from 7 and down. Not including 7, but everything to the left of 7. So that statement would be written as x, our number line is labeled x, so we're going to use x, x, all x, less than 7. Okay, no equal to because we have an open circle. So see here we have the less than symbol. Less than is graphed with an open circle. So this one right here would be x is less than 7. All right, let's uh, look at one more. I'll just go ahead and draw it on the screen here. So let's say we had our number line here and label that x. We have uh, 0 here and then say negative 8 oh, right here. And then the way that the graph is drawn is like this. Solid circle and pointing to the right. Okay, and you were asked to determine what is the inequality statement that describes this graph. You notice we have a closed circle pointed right. So we are going to write this as x is greater than or equal to. So this, this look of the graph, the number line graph right here, is x is greater than or equal to. It's greater than because it's going to the right of the dot, and it's equal to because the dot is filled in. And then we simply place the number that's listed above it right here. So same thing would be true in any case. Let, let's go through these. So if on a number line graph, if you have this case, that's going to be x greater than this one. Open circle pointing left is going to be x is less than this one. Filled in to pointed right is going to be x is greater than or equal to. And this pointing left is going to be x is less than or equal to. All right, so that's the short video on the basics of inequality statements and how to graph those on a number line and how to write the inequality symbol 
if the inequality statement if you're given the number line graph. So in the second part of this series, we will look at solving some linear inequalities and then graphing those on a number line. So I'll see you in the next video.